30 some days to go, folks, till the midterm. So it is bring on the mud time out there. And the fight to hold on to seats in Congress getting pretty nasty. Florida Democratic Congressman Alan Grayson, uh, who has a history of making controversial comments, I might add, now labeling his opponent, here's one for you, Taliban Dan, in a new political ad. Critics say Grayson is taking parts of a speech by Republican Daniel Webster out of context. Here is what Daniel Webster, so you can see for yourself here, folks. Here's what Daniel Webster said at a Christian event in the summer of 2009. So, write a journal. Second, find a verse. I have a verse for my wife. I have verses for my wife. Don't pick the ones that say um, she should submit to me. That's in the Bible, but pick the ones that you're supposed to do. <laughs> so instead, that you'd love your wife, uh, even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it, and as opposed to wives, submit yourself to your own husband. She can pray that if she wants to, but don't you pray it. Same with your children. Pick out the ones that have your responsibility listed into it. It's, yes, children are to obey their parents, but more importantly, we're as fathers to... Um, not provoke them to wrath. All right, so you see the full sort of sentiment that was expressed there by Daniel Webster. Now, here's how Alan Grayson used this event in his latest ad. Wives, submit yourself to your own husband. Daniel Webster wants to impose his radical fundamentalism on us. She should submit to me. That's in the Bible. Webster tried to deny battered women medical care and the right to divorce their abusers. Submit to me. He wants to force raped women to bear the child. Submit to me. Whoa. Well, now both campaigns uh, have just given us new reaction to this controversy. Doug Schoen is a former Clinton pollster as well as a Fox News contributor. Doug, uh, you know, it always gets pretty ugly out yeah. there. There's always some stuff that uh, both sides look at and say, we, we really kind of wish we hadn't gone there. Uh, what, what do you make of, of this particular use of this, of this ad? This, this, to me, Martha, is way over the line. For Grayson to call his opponent Taliban Dan, to mischaracterize his view of the role of women and how they should act and uh, behave in life is outrageous. If he wanted to draw a contrast on the issue of choice, abortion, that's fine, well within the bounds of normalcy, decency, and logic. But this is way over the line. Mark. on this Tuesday, I'm Contessa Brewer. Democrats are pushing to get women to show up at the ballot box in November because without their support, the party in power may lose their majority. And no one is pushing harder than Congressman Alan Grayson, running for re-election, in fact, for the St. Petersburg Times and the Miami Herald. Have actually fact-checked your ad. Their research reveals the full context of what Dan Webster was saying. He was talking to fathers at this conference that you just mentioned, the Institute. Let me play the full part, uh, the full context for what he was talking about when he's saying, you submit to me. If I have verses for my wife, don't pick the ones that say um, she should submit to me. That's in the Bible, but pick the ones that you're supposed to do. <laughs> So instead, that you'd love your wife, uh, even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it, and as opposed to wives, submit yourself to your own husband. He's basically encouraging congressmen, men to focus on uh, Bible verses other than submit to me. Your ad was rated false on PolitiFact. Why not just use Listen, his stand on women's issues? Why twist his words? We're doing that. We're doing that. And we didn't twist his words. And by the way, it's a 15-minute speech, and he released only four minutes of it. But we could argue endlessly about whether it's in context, out of context, whatever. He's a 28-year 20 20 career politician. And when a career politician is tagged with his own words, which we quoted in the ad, of course he's going to respond. Yeah, it's out of context. What really matters. Right. So if that's what really matters, if, if those stands uh, on those issues are what could motivate women to turn out to the polls, then why take a speech where he was saying, Again, this is his word. I have verses for my wife. Don't pick the ones that say um, she should submit to me. Y your people cut that. Submit to me. Submit to me. And they put that in. He was. That's not what he was saying. His stand on the issues should stand alone, shouldn't it? Contessa, look what you just did. When you ran the ad, you only ran the parts that you wanted to talk about. You didn't run the parts that I just discussed. You're doing it. 
Okay, we want to discuss women's issues, and you're preventing that from happening. No, no, I'm not. Actually, I've given you the opportunity to join me, and I want to talk about women's issues. And I think that women Sandy Webster, who responded, Alan Grayson's latest attack on my husband is shameful. Mr. Grayson seems to have a problem telling the truth, and no problem misleading the public. Dan has been an amazing husband and father and the finest man I've ever known. Mr. Grayson should be ashamed of his nasty smears against my husband. Given Dan Webster's stand on women's issues, are you afraid that this negative attack ad could backfire against you? Contessa, I invited you just now to go into what the issues were and you completely avoided them. Instead, you gave time to my opponent's wife to express her indignation without addressing those I think we should issues. talk about these issues and I don't think that you should get us off track or anybody else, including Dan Webster and his wife. Congressman, your ad begins with you approve that message. That's your message. Yes, and if you'd run the whole thing, people would have seen what I did approve. Congressman Alan Grayson, I appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you. health care plan is this. Die quickly. That's right. The Republicans want you to die quickly if you get sick. You want the Democratic plan or do you want the Republican plan? Remember, the Republican plan, don't get sick. And if you do get sick, die quickly.